You're coming too. What started as a dream is now our reality. Six years ago, we poured her ballast, raised every frame, cut every plank, and named her Red Aviva. Ready for life back on the ocean, this year we're determined yeah. to set sail. Did you look at that? I'd say that's the making of a fine cruising vessel. <laughs> We're Salt and Tar, and this is our life. We're happy to share, and thanks for joining us. Okay, another beautiful sunny day, and I'm going to tackle another uh, on deck rigging, running rigging, sailing control project. So I'm gonna lash up a block onto the mizzen boom to complete the sheeting system with the track and the cleats and everything that we put down there. And that's step one towards getting the mizzen totally done. Got my tarred nylon twine and I'm going to lash this block onto the boom. Victoria and Noah are still with us and Red Aviva's evolving. With every stroke, every block, every piece of wood, she develops. So moving on to the main sheet now, and I think I'm keeping up with the same kind of theme of everything. Just gonna keep it super simple. Just do a big ass eye bolt through the deck, then do our block and our block and tackle to the collar there. And I'm thinking that on the mizzen mast on either side, I'm going to mount a cleat so that when I'm when we're sailing the boat on the tiller and uh, you can just reach down sheet the sail in put a couple wraps on this side or on that side depending on what tack you're on and I think that'll be simple it'll work and you know if in the in the spirit of getting things done and getting sailing I'm not gonna over complicate it and I'm not gonna keep thinking about it I'm just going to drill another giant hole in the deck and call it good. That looks center to me. The, uh, the mass partner and the blocking and the beams and everything are underneath the deck here, which will be a sweet backing for the bolt, so I don't really have to worry about that because that big wooden block that the mast goes through that's between the two beams which is also bolted through and everything cinched up it's a really strong point for this so should be good noah may have thought the butterfly hatch trim would be simpler than the complex angles in the four peak for the anchor locker box but he found complexity here too So there was some offset to work around up here. 
That was uh, the Garrett doesn't care anymore <laughs> <laughs> offset. So I added this uh, basically just a spacer in the back to take care of that offset. Um, but what will happen up top then is this will lap up beyond the, the top portion of the butterfly hatch. So it will also act as kind of a weather seal in a way in case there's any wind driven water or something that wants to get through there. It won't be able to pass this dam. Um, but because of the way this offset happened down here, there's going to be a, now a gap here where it's tight over here. Um, so I'm just going to apply basically another one of these at the top. And after that's dry, I can rip it and it'll be a wedge basically uh, starting from nothing to this um, 5 sixteenths or whatever. Uh, so then everything will sit nice and tight and flat. And you'll hide my mistakes. Yep. <laughs> Sweet. Thanks, man. Okay, let's climb down below and see where this came out. Oh. Hey! Look at that. Perfect. Okay. Hey, hey. Pardon the carnage. <laughs> There's a hole. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. no! <laughs> Those birds look so sweet. Aw, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, dude. <laughs> kind of building up to that point, like, I don't know. I just wanted to fill everything else in first, and then that's really, like, my main focal point. Oh, yeah. I try it, like, throughout the day when I'm going in and out. Like, I try not to look. Ah, because, like, thank you. Because when I, <laughs> at, like, when there's big chunks of time and then I go yeah. do look, I'm like, oh, it's oh my God. sweet. <laughs> cool to see the vast improvement and the changes you know yeah yeah no, i love the birds thank you, <laughs> thank you. yeah thank you totally. <laughs> sure man <laughs> <laughs> I hear a lot of, uh, look at that, that's sweet, it's yeah. perfect, so I figure I should film. <laughs> nice. We got Carlin's. Sweet. Oh, it looks so good when it's sanded. <laughs> It's gonna be so sweet. Pretend like I know how to film for a second. <laughs> <laughs> so much more than I would have had the like the headspace or anything to to do. So it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Like, <laughs> my ideas for covering it up were so <laughs> lame compared to this. <laughs> Nice. Everything's straight and square. Speaking of pretty things <laughs> inside to look at, <laughs> want to show us what you got Have going on here? Yes, check it out. 
so sweet. So I was up working on the sails and I was telling Victoria, I try not, every time I come in here for materials, I try not to, to look because it's so exciting when enough time goes by and it can come down here and be like, oh, that's, that's awesome. And so in that, the last time she put these birds in and they're so cool. Our first night here, Ruth was telling me about her frigate birds. Yeah. She loves them. <laughs> yeah. She has a really cool tattoo on her arm of one. Yeah. Explaining how they're like the first coastal birds you see when you get into Mexico. <laughs> and I thought, how cool, like, you know, as she was describing them and saying how they mate for life and they travel together, it would just be a really neat accent to get a pair of them in this yeah. mural. And then to kind of like shape their tail feathers a little bit like in the suggestion of a heart. Oh yeah. So I felt like that kind of just tied the whole piece together. And brought totally. a little bit more of a realistic and playful element to it. Noah and Victoria are making the boat really pretty and I'm just drilling more holes and just doing more caveman work back here. <laughs> We're making a happy little trim. Get our brush nice and saturated and drizzle it on just like so. And baby strokes, getting it nice and covered. We want even coverage. Super happy, happy little trim. Once again, Noah has completely outdone himself. <laughs> and once again, I'm really glad that I put this task in his hands because I would not have done anything nearly as cool. <laughs> and I cut this um, notch in there so that when this is applied to the hatch opening, it creates a little channel to put some sealant in there, some caulking and that will prevent any water from getting down in there. Nice. Yeah, yeah it looks sweet. I'm gonna try to get the, um, the drain situated for the anchor locker that Noah built. And uh, Ruth is editing today, so um, she's gonna do like the final painting and everything on it before we install it. But I figured uh, get the hardware in and have that all ready so she can paint it tomorrow and then it'll be good to go. So I'm just gonna install a little drain 90 degree with the screen. It's two pieces, but this is just gonna go over top. It's gonna go right in the corner. I've coated the inside with epoxy and finished with a big pour in the bottom. We're also going to cut to fit some rubber bar mat material to keep the chain from resting directly on the bottom.
happy with the way this came together. Oh, me too. Good. Super nice. Maybe you got a woodpecker on board. <laughs> yeah. Did you decide to go with just one cleat? Yeah. After after looking at it and playing around with different ideas, I decided that uh, just like a single central mount cleat um, would be nice. It's right there. It and it also mainly it runs off the block a lot cleaner. Oh yeah. I mean, it's not like it's that much different, but like I don't know. It's and I have one of these nice bronze cleats. <laughs> so. sure we get some cool shots of this before it goes oh away God. forever just to make sure I do it justice too bad Ruth's not here because she's much better at filming than I am yeah I was hoping she could actually explain what all this does too <laughs> <laughs> speed control is on the back too just yeah. it's on slow <laughs> so civilized, you're not even using your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. But you gotta keep them clean as long as they're good. Yeah. <laughs> just took all the time sanding that paduke all nice and just get a bunch of yeah. goopy fingerprints all over it. By the last panel, I'll be using my elbow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria. Do you have the painter's tape there? Yep. <laughs> you got paint on the painter's tape. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> oh, is that the little groove for the yeah. for the future stick 'em? Mm -hmm. I did opt to add a third set of fasteners in the middle here. Oh, okay. I determined that it was necessary. <laughs> and so it begins. Yeah. All right, and this is what's going on up here. Lots of changes. It's looking so cool. Mm. Many hours of development. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, Victoria's been spinning her days cooped up. You can see the power stance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cooped up in this small little location, but it's looking so cool. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you gotta live with it, so I want you to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Just 
realized I forgot to put the Carlins in first. <laughs> <laughs> this one especially needs to go in first, I think. That's a nice fit. Oh, look at that sexy. Oh. Can't even fit a piece of paper between there. Just go through the other end. Okay. Don't step in the goo. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm surprised you're being so trusting with the drill bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I already put a hole in this finger, so what's another one? Yeah, I think that idea that you came up with is, is really slick. Yeah. Like making that little channel for the I, caulking. I think the gasket is definitely gonna do its job for a really long time, but eventually the rubber will dry out and this will just prevent any water from getting through. Yeah. Nice. It'll do. <laughs> <laughs> well, another successful day. Yeah. Um, making Red Aviva even prettier. <laughs> and yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Oh, damn. It looks even... It looks even sexier with the hatch down. <laughs> 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 There's a very good chance that I probably should have taken more measurements and should have thought this through a lot more, but I kind of just don't really want to. Hey! <laughs> What's up? What's up, yo? yo. <laughs> I'm gonna get to my palate. <laughs> oh, man. I wish I were like six inches shorter right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want all of this covered in goo? I don't think I've ever like gotten this far into any project with using uh. tube stick em and not having it all over me. I put it on like a couple little things yesterday and it's <laughs> it's all over my arm. Did you touch it? My hair might have gotten it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Time will tell. That's that's how I got dreadlocks. Oh, it was right. when I was doing the bottom planking on the boat. Oh. It all started with one big glob of tar that oh. fell on my oh. head, and then it just started happening all the time. <laughs> and I was like, well, I guess I'll just uh, I guess I'll just do this now. <laughs> Whatever you need, just tell me and I'll get it for you. Thank you. Yeah. Have you seen that gray band out there? Not that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I've got some YouTube money. I don't have that much YouTube money yet, okay? <laughs>